Manchester United against Barcelona in the Champions League. We've been here before, haven't we? Paul Scholes in 2008 with that goal at Old Trafford that sent us through to the final. The finals themselves in 2009 and 2011 when Lionel Messi and co tore us apart. And on Wednesday night at Old Trafford, some new history will be written, this time with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the wheel. But how will Solskjaer stop Barcelona? How will Man United stop Messi? Let's run through that and let's talk about the game in detail in this video. Now, before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Betball. If you haven't heard of Betball, they are the most social way of betting. And you guys in the United People's TV community can win prizes over there by getting involved and following the bets that I do. So let's take a look at that. And let me show you how it works. I've placed a bet for the game on Wednesday night. I think for me, both teams to score, because there's absolutely no way that United are gonna stop Messi and co. But I'm pretty confident that United can at least get one goal in front of a 75,000 full capacity crowd at Old Trafford under the spotlights. You've got to back United, hopefully Rashford, to get a goal against Barcelona. If you click the link in the description, you can download the app and you can follow my bet. And if you think it's a good bet, you can match the bet. And if you do that, you'll be automatically added into the United People's TV community. And inside there, there's prizes to be won, including a signed Marcus Rashford boot and 50 prints of your favorite Manchester United players to be given away to 50 people inside that group. Now, terms and conditions do apply. You do have to be 18 to enter, and of course you have to gamble responsibly. I'll put the full terms and conditions in the comments below, but if you do get involved and you follow my bet, you might win a signed Marcus Rashford boot. I mean, that's a decent prize. But now, let's talk about Barcelona. And for me, the first hurdle that I think this United team have to get over is the mental block that I think some players are gonna have on Wednesday night. We're playing up against Barcelona. They're tearing it up in their own league. Barcelona have won the Champions League multiple times, beating us twice in the final in the last decade. United players have to go into this game believing they can beat Barcelona. And what better man to have in charge than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who's a man who created for me the single most iconic and dramatic moment that the Champions League has ever had against all odds. Solskjaer popped up with a winner in the new Camp, Barcelona's home ground. If there's anybody who's going to be able to inspire these players to up their levels, it's got to be Solskjaer. And these players have to believe, we did it against Paris against the odds. Why can't we do it against Barcelona? Yeah, it's going to be hard stopping Messi. We'll talk about that in a bit, but the players have to believe. And if they go into this game with the wrong mentality, we would have lost before the first whistle. And while Barcelona might be absolutely tearing it up in the league at the moment, I think they're 12 points clear now, Suarez on fire, Messi on fire, they're not infallible. They've lost to Sevilla this season, they've lost to Real Betis this season, they've lost to Lejanes this season. Barcelona have stumbled at points. Now they're firing on all cylinders right now, but there are weaknesses that we can expose. There's certainly one player who's not a weakness though, and that is Lionel Messi. And how do United go about stopping Messi? If you look at what Messi has done to us previously, I think it was 2009. Ah, stop Messi from shooting, shooting outside the box. What does he go and do? Goes and scores a header. A ridiculous header, loops back over van der Sar. 2011, let's approach it differently. Let's not let him shoot inside the six yard box. Force him further away, what does he go and do? He goes and scores from outside the area. Messi is an unstoppable player. And there's no point Manchester United setting up their formation and tactics to try and nullify Messi completely. Because by doing that, it will create too much space for the likes of Suarez, Rakitic and Coutinho to exploit. They're not a one trick pony. He might be the king, but they've got plenty of players there who can damage United as well. And Solskjaer will have to be wary about that. But one thing I think United could do is man mark Messi. And for me, there's one player, arguably, the first player on that team sheet in midfield, and that's Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay against Chelsea did a really good man-marking job on Eden Hazard, a bit like Ander Herrera did previously. But McTominay followed that up with a sensationally disciplined performance away at Paris Saint-Germain. And with Popa so out of form, Herrera all the question marks now about his future, and Matic being Matic, McTominay is the first midfielder on my team sheet. And if he can have a worldie, and just limit Messi's space. That's all he can do. He won't be able to stop Messi. 
but just make it more difficult for him. Maybe we can try and squeeze Messi out of the game or at least not let him have the free run of it because if we sit too deep and let Messi run out of our defence, we're going to be pigs to the slaughter. It won't be pretty. We've got to try and stop him a little bit further up the pitch and McTominay for me is the man to hopefully do that. But speaking about midfielders, you know, McTominay, as I said, he's probably the first name on my team sheet, but the first name on your team sheet, as far as midfielders go, is obviously going to be Paul Pogba. But Paul Pogba has got a massive point to prove for me in this game. Because rewind a few weeks, PSG at home, he's won the World Cup, so many of his compatriots coming over from France, the big team in France, all eyes on Paul Pogba. What can he do? Completely, his head was gone in that first half. Marquinhos was, I think, man marking him, squeezed him out of the game. Pogba lost his head, started lunging for tackles, ultimately got sent off, and then didn't play any part in that second leg where the miracle happened in Paris. And that was a game where Pogba had to control it, dominate it. Instead, his head was gone. And that can't happen against Barcelona if United are going to have any chance. Because I think we're going to play quite deep. I think we're going to hit on the counter-attack. And I think Pop is going to be the player that Solskjaer relies on to break out of defence and start our counter-attacks. If he gets flustered again, we're fucked. And Pogba, with his up-and-down performances, it, when, he's on the, when he's on form, he's sensational. He's the best in the world, arguably, in that position. When he's not, the game passes him by. And for us to have any chance at stopping this Barcelona team, which is sensational, Pogba needs to up his levels. And that has to happen. And then with all that considered about what Man United need to do to try and stop Messi, McTominay maybe in a man-marking role, where's Pogba going to be? I would expect to see Solskjaer line United up in a 5-3-2 formation and hit on the counter-attack. I expect us to play with wing-backs, with Shaw and Ashley Young. I would personally prefer to see Diogo Dalot there, but Young is a little bit more stable, I suppose, defensively, positionally anyway. He's more experienced, and we do need some experience in these games. That's why I wouldn't start Diogo there. I would start Shaw left back with a back three of Lindelof, Smalling and Jones. Arguably, you could put Bayern in there, but let me know what you think. And a midfield three, I'd go for Matic and McTominay behind Paul Pogba. This is what I mean when I say McTominay and Matic are going to be tasked with screening our defence, sitting in front of our defence and making sure Barcelona can't just attack the edge of the box. And that means it's all up to Paul Pogba, feeding it up to Rashford and Lukaku, hopefully on the counter-attack. That's where the pace is going to come in with those two. And then when we've got the likes of Martial to bring off the bench, that'll be a good thing. But United, we need Pogba to play well. United need Matic and McTominay to play. We need everybody. If United do beat Barcelona, on Wednesday night, it won't be down to an individual moment of magic. It will be down to a complete team performance from front to back. Every player has to play well and not cause mistakes because if we do create mistakes, Barcelona and Messi will punish them. It's as simple as that. But this is where United belong. This is the Champions League quarterfinal, the first one that we've had at Old Trafford in half a decade. We've won the competition three times. Some of our favourite ever memories as United fans have come because of the Champions League. And that's dwindled away in the last few years. But on Wednesday night, with Solskjaer at the wheel, 20 years on from the treble winning season, we've got Barcelona at Old Trafford. And everybody thinks United are going to lose. But everybody thought United were going to lose against PSG. We did at home and we got the miracle away. See, so United fans, myself included, are hoping for another miracle. But if we can play better... See, in that first half against PSG, I thought we were OK until the injuries ruined it for us. And then we just got played off the park. Don't expect United to have much possession at all. But if we can hit well on the counter-attack and find those balls, because Barcelona will play with a high line, remember. There will be space in behind to exploit. It's whether we can find the passes to exploit those gaps and if we can we've got a chance to win on Wednesday it's really going to be hard not to be nervous as a fan when the game kicks off on Wednesday night against Barcelona but these as I said are the nights that we want at Old Trafford under the floodlights with 75,000 roaring United fans we've got a chance 
And we played well in that first half against PSG. We need to do the same thing against Barcelona. And if we get chances, Lukaku and Rashford or Martial or Pogba, they have to take them. We have to be clinical because we're not going to get many chances. But let me know what you're thinking about the game. Are you confident? Can we do another miracle this time against Barcelona? Next week, we're at the new Camp. I'm at the new Camp. It's going to be an exciting couple of weeks for United fans. But let me know how you're feeling ahead of the game. As always, leave your comments below. Until next time, take it easy.